we refer to integer linear programming problem or the so-called ILP problem, which can be expressed in the following general form. The objective function is linear and all the constraints are linear as shown below. All the decision variables x1 up to xn are non-negative. Besides, some or all of them takes only integer values. If we remove the restriction that some or all of the xi are integers, then we will get a linear programming problem which is what we have discussed in previous chapters. We say that this problem obtained by removing the restriction that some or all of the xi are integers as the linear programming relaxation to the previous integer programming problem or the so-called LP relaxation. We have learned how to solve this linear programming relaxation by several methods, such as the simplex method. Let's refer to a problem containing only two decision variables so that we can illustrate it by a graph. Suppose we have a pure integer programming problem with a linear objective function z equals to a constant times x plus a constant times y. Subject to these two inequality constraints, we have both x and y greater than or equal to zero and they are integers. After we have drawn the inequalities on the graph, we will only consider points which satisfy these inequalities and at the same time both their x and y coordinates are non-negative integers. The blue dots highlighted in the graph shows all the points that satisfy these conditions. The collection of all these blue dots is the feasible set of this pure integer programming problem. Removing the restriction that x and y are integers give the LP relaxation as follows. The shaded part represents the feasible set of the LP relaxation. Since the ILP problem is having additional restriction on top of the LP relaxation, the feasible set of the ILP problem is a subset of the feasible set of the LP relaxation. This is shown in the third graph here. Next, we have a mixed integer programming problem having the same setting as before, except that we only restrict x to be an integer. After we have drawn the inequalities on the graph, we will only consider points which satisfy these inequalities, and at the same time, the x coordinates are non negative integers. The blue line segment highlighted in the graph shows all the points that satisfy these conditions. The collection of all these blue line segments is the feasible set of this mixed integer programming problem. Removing the restriction that x is an integer gives the LP relaxation. The shaded part represents the feasible set of the LP relaxation. Again, since the ILP problem is having additional restriction on top of the LP relaxation, the feasible set of the ILP problem is a subset of the feasible set of the LP relaxation as shown in the third graph. The final scenario is a mixed integer programming problem of having the same setting as before except that this time we only restrict y to be an integer. Please refer to the illustration by yourself. Since the LP relaxation is a less restricted problem than the ILP problem, the followings hold immediately. First, for our maximization problems, the optimal value we obtain for the objective function for the LP relaxation 
will always be greater than or equal to that of the integer linear programming problem. It is because, in general, the LP relaxation has a larger feasible region than the integer linear programming problem, and we may have a chance of obtaining better value for the objective function. With this in mind, even without solving the integer linear programming problem, the maximum value obtained from the objective function for the LP relaxation gives us an upper bound on the maximum value that we expect to get from the objective function of the integer linear programming problem. Second, in case if the LP relaxation is not feasible, then so as the integer linear programming problem, because the integer linear programming problem imposes further constraints to the existing constraints in the LP relaxation. Third, if the values of all the decision variables when the LP relaxation is optimized fulfill the constraints of the integer linear programming problem as well, then this set of values for the decision variables will also yield the optimal value of the objective function in the integer linear programming problem. This is because these values of xi also belongs to the feasible set of the integer linear programming problem. And from the first point, we notice that this already used the greatest possible value of the objective function of the integer linear programming problem. Therefore, it will also be an optimal solution to the integer linear programming problem.